how are you wherever you are welcome to this channel my name is dj iconic and right about now i want to introduce you to auto mixing feature on virtual dj so this video has been inspired by this person by the name uh, let me try to read this name forgive me if i mispronounce your name but uh guila you oh my god okay let me just read what he wants me to do for him i wanted the transition to be automatic not manual i wanted the program to do the transition automatically so he wants this software to mix songs for him all right so let's start here this is the general outlook of the software when you open it uh so you jump right over here beside your sampler tab here this pad over here you just you can see auto mix click on it and here we are we have auto mix and beside the word auto mix we have the total time for the playlist and my playlist has about 57 songs that is two hours and 57 minutes so let me just delete everything from the playlist and just do it for you from the start so i'll use some serato demo tracks so you come over here you choose whichever song that you want you drag it put it in your auto mix playlist choose something else drop in, in there drop in, in there if you want a whole playlist just Control A or Command A on Mac and just drag like I am showing you. All right, one more track. There you have it. So our auto mix playlist has about four songs. That is nine minutes uh, and one second. So over here we can we have the shuffle button. Let me eject these songs. All right, so there you have it. You come over here to the end you can see this dot it says auto mix options you click on it you can simply go into auto mix but don't go into your auto mix when you you are yet to set the auto mix feature auto mix editor forget about this one this one will just tire you in my opinion so let's just do it my way all right so click on this dot one more time auto mix type put it smart forget about the others set it to smart smart means that the software will judge the type of transition to apply based on the structure of the song how the song flows you know if there's an intro outro if there's silence at the beginning at the end so this is where you can do most of the things you can just go through them at your own time we have shuffle shuffle once remove already played that is once the song has been played virtual dj will remove the song from the playlist yeah and you can also remove duplicates that is if you had the songs if you added songs by mistake you added the same similar song so just remove the duplicates you can save your settings if you want it but there is more but this is the best part just come over here in your settings go to options and search auto mix once you are there uh, there are a couple of settings we say that we keep it as smart we don't want a virtual dj to force fade uh, we don't want it to skip silence this would become monotonous but it's appropriate for different setups and then we have full songs then no mix So I was explaining, someone just knocked on my door, but let's continue. So we have Smart, Force Fade. You can try these different options depending on the kind of music that you want to play. Just play around with the different options that we have and see whichever suits you. You even have Radio Mode. Try it and see how it goes. But for me, I prefer the Smart one. Let the program decide. Yeah. Then an Auto Mix Repeat. No, I don't want anything to be repeated. Auto Mix, Auto Remove. Uh huh. No, I, don't. I want to keep my playlist intact. Auto Mix Duo Deck. Definitely. Yes. That is the songs will be switching from one deck to the other. I'll show you shortly. Uh huh. Auto Mix Beat Match on Fade. Um. Let's keep this one. Yes. 
I want my songs to be in sync. But the problem is that if the songs are of different BPM, look at this one. We have 70, 90, 85, 124. Mm, you might hear some clashes. Yeah, but it is what it is. That is what you want. Play around with the different settings. And let's see how it goes. So here we have auto mix. Start or stop the auto mix play. All right, let's just go. We have a shortcut there. We have control and space to switch on auto mix. But let's just go here and stay start auto mix. And this is our playlist. It has four songs. Let's add some more. Something that will not give us a copyright strike. All right. All right. Some Kenyan songs over here. So click auto start. And there you have it. Come, what is happening to this software? All right, let me eject the song. Seems that we had an error over here. So I'll just go back over here. I can see that some of my songs have disappeared. Okay, this is just a software. Things do happen. And my laptop has been asleep the whole night. So probably it's still waking up. All right, right, right. Let's see. I'll just pick this one on my piano tracks. And then I'll say, start out mix. As you can see, the songs are already loaded. Uh -huh, let me pause. I don't want a copyright strike. And we can, we can see that the first track here on the left deck, on the blue deck, the song has already started and you can see that there's another song that has been queued. Look closely at the end of the song. Look closely at the end of the song. You can see that there is a cue point over here. So let's play the song and jump to the last part of the song and see how it behaves. All right, we are jumping. Let's see what will happen. All right. And there you have it. The other track is loaded and I don't understand why it's not playing. What's happening to my software today? All right, let me try to add some volume. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, the volume, the gain here. Sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. But I believe now you know what is happening. Try that. Let me know how it goes. Um, Conil. I believe that I've said your name right now. I'll see the next one. Have yourself a good time and enjoy your, your tutorial. In the meantime, you know what to do. You like the video. Adios.